Boozers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. All right, Christmas is done, so I don't need that anymore. And I don't need a lot of other things, but I do need beer and I still need more beer. So we found this beer or I found this beer and it came out and I had to have it. So it was um, the next installment of Blind Man Brewing's beer. We have the Barrel Age Imperial Stout coming in 11.6 alcohol by volume, and it's made with Four Roses Kentucky Bourbon Barrels aged in, well, aged in Four Roses Kentucky Bourbon Barrels for 168 days. And it's been cellared since November 7th, 2019. But if it's been a, that's not 168 Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe 2018? I don't know. Anyways, this was one that I really wanted because I love their Barrel Age series. They do a really good job of it, and it's one that just... I come back for more. Even though the cans are like $9 a can, it's not cheap. It's definitely not cheap beer whatsoever. But it's worth it. So I've got my nice little blind man snifter glass here and as per usual it's black as black can be. Can't even see the studio lights through it. A nice light tan head off there. Uh, it's quickly dissipating. The smell. Get a little bit of that bourbon note. A little bit of the oaky note. Overall, it smells really damn good. Well, folks, here's to getting out of 2019 as, well, beaten up as we can. In all honesty, it was a shit year. But we're going to make 2020 better. There were some good things that happened, and I will probably be doing a best of 2019 or 2019 look back video soon. I just got to try and find the right words to say. I don't know. Anyways, cheers everybody. Mm. Oh. Uh, bourbon barrel aged four roses barrel comes through divinely. It is beautiful. It comes through with a nice solid woody, woody sort of a little bit of a smoked note, sweet smoked note, woody, just mm, mwah, beautiful. Oh. Yep. And then afterwards, that coffee and nice little roasted malt come in, and it just dances on your tongue and it's got a good medium body almost medium to thick body but it's right up there where it should be it's nice and just absolutely divine the alcohol doesn't affect you until it hits your esophagus where you feel a warming sensation going down into your stomach and it's one of those ones where it is a nice sipper that you can have beside a fire, as like last year, and the year before, and the year before that. This is one of those beers that I can have time and time again, and it is so worth the almost $10 per can for this. I find it a little bit on the high side, but I still will pay it because it is that damn good that I would buy it. Well, folks, have you had this latest version before? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? This is a beautiful nightcap for me. This will get me going. This is a beautiful beer for one you want to just have one. But that's usually not the case for me. Till next time, folks, I am PK saying cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining. You guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful night. Thanks again. Night, night.